And the other problem you have by attacking the Bible is that the Quran says Jesus confirmed the Old Testament that he was reading at his time and that Muhammad confirmed the very Bible that the Jews and Christians are reading at his time, which are the very scriptures that contain these alleged contradictions. So that means the Muslims know more than Allah and Muhammad. So why are they Muslims? Now that you realize that you went to Islam and that Muslims are not Unitarians, you realize that now, right? Because you said you had a problem with the Trinity, which we'll adjust, I promise. We'll go into all the verses. But I want to, again, one, scratching my head and wondering, why in the world then did you embrace Islam when they have their own form of the Trinity and Islam is paganism? Well, I, I think I've seen your video on this before. It's um, the Quran is like one of the parts of the Trinity and then his his soul or his body is the other part. No, not soul and body. I never said that. I said the Quran is uncreated, right? Yeah, yeah. But the Quran, is it Allah? No. All and right. So, I, I think the how they explain this is his speech. So I guess it would. Okay. So but if it's a speech, what, what in the world is the Quran doing speaking to Allah? What do You're you mean? a Sunni Muslim. So you follow Sunni Islam and the Hadith say that the Quran will come. And the chapters of the Quran will come arguing and interceding with Allah for those that recited it. So Allah speaking to himself. How I've heard that one explained is that it's it's like metaphorical, like it's not going to come. Who told you it's person. metaphorical? I don't care what they say. Muhammad didn't say it's metaphorical. He said, you will see the, the surahs, chapter two and three, coming either as shades or clouds or two flocks of birds. So are they now improving Muhammad's speech and explaining what Muhammad did not say? Is that how they duped you? Muhammad says, you will see, they will come. They will come either as two shades or two clouds or two flocks of birds. And they will plead with Allah on behalf of those that recited it. He even says they're going to have a shape. That's not metaphorical. So you can see them visibly. So again, answer my question. I, I know they try to tap dance because they're dishonest. But I know you're not dishonest unless you're completely gone. And I pray you're not. There's still hope for you. If the Quran is a speech of Allah, what in the world is the Quran doing speaking to Allah? Is that Allah speaking to himself? I guess it would have to be then. I don't, I don't know. And you're okay with that because you had a problem with the Trinity, but you don't have a problem with that? I mean, I have questions about that now, yeah. Now, my other question is, okay, it's a speech of Allah, but the Quran is also a book. It's a kitab. It says, we sent down to you the book, the kitab. So the Quran is not just the speech. It also becomes a book in liberation, kitab. So did a part of Allah become a book? I don't, I don't know. Exactly, because these are things they don't tell you. Oh, Allah's one. Ahad, Ahad, Ahad. Yeah, I know. That's what they say, which is a lie from the pit of hell. What did they tell you about the spirit? Who's the spirit? Uh, no, that I heard that from. I thought I heard that from you. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I don't know. I thought I heard when you were. I, heard, I saw a video of you discussing this, and I thought like the other third was the spirit, but I never heard anything about that yeah. from the Muslims. If you, ask, if, you ask, if you ask sneakers, and if you ask Uthman Fibin, They'll tell you the spirit is angel Gabriel. That's what they'll tell you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to challenge the Muslims because I've debated them. I've written responses to their arguments. I will take Protestant believer to the nearest mosque and make him take Shahada if they can show me that Gabriel is the spirit in the Quran. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Nowhere does the Quran say Gabriel is the spirit. The Quran is quite clear. The spirit is breathed out by Allah. The spirit is distinct from angels. He's not an angel because angels come down with the spirit, go up with the spirit. The spirit accompanies them. They're not one and the same. And the spirit can appear as a man and create and give life. That's chapter 19, verses 16 to 21. They'll say, oh, this is Gabriel. Where does it say Gabriel? It says spirit. Be careful of translations that say we sent to her our angel. It's our ruh, ruh ana, ruh, spirit. And make mention of Mary in the scripture. When she had withdrawn from her people to a chamber looking east and had chosen seclusion from them, then we sent unto her our spirit. Ask any Arabic reader. What's the word here? It's ruh. Ruh. Ruh means spirit. We sent her our spirit and it assumed for her the likeness of a perfect man. So God's spirit appears as a man. She said, lo, she didn't know it was a spirit. She thinks it's a man trying to do something. Lo, I seek refuge in the beneficent one from thee, if thou art God free. Now look what he says. He said, I'm only a messenger of thy Lord, that I may bestow on thee, I may give you a faultless son. So he's saying, don't be afraid, I've come to give you a faultless son. In other words, he's going to cause Mary to conceive Jesus in her womb. She said, how can I have a son when no mortal hath touched me? 
Neither have I been unchaste. What do you mean? How am I going to have a child? He said, so it will be thy Lord saith. It is easy for me, and it will be that we may make of him a revelation. We're going to make him a revelation for mankind, a mercy from us, and in his thing ordained. So again, if you missed it, I'm only a messenger of the Lord that I may give you, I will give you a faultless son. So not only Jesus faultless, sinless, even according to Quran, even though it's not the real Jesus, it is the spirit who's going to cause her to conceive. So the spirit creates, and he appears as a man, and he can speak, and he's not Allah, but he's a creator and life giver. So how many creators you got, man? Well, you could say that he was, he was, he was granted that from God, right? That You're only making my point. So Allah allowed the Spirit to create and give life. So He made him a partner with Him. That's not helping your case. That shows that Allah took him as a partner. Well, I mean, you could like, like how, I guess, like how Moses split the sea. Like he didn't do that. No, right? Moses just, didn't but, create and give life. And but, the fact that he lifted the rod. That rod, by lifting it, was a sign that by lifting the rod, God would then split the Red Sea. That's why the rod was in his hand, because this was a sign. This is God's staff, and by it, he will rule and judge. And when he lifts it, that is a summons to God who was there in the cloud to split the Red Sea per the request of Moses. That's not the same thing. He comes, and he gives her a, a son. In fact, 66.12 says that Allah blew that spirit in her private part. Now, why did he enter a private part? Because that's how he got her pregnant. That's the point. I came to give you a son. So I'm going to enter your body and cause you to conceive. He's the one causing the conception without male sperm. That means he is creating and giving life that only Allah is able to do so. No one else. You can't show me someone else doing that. And the spirit is coming out of Allah. It says we blew our spirit. So he's blowing the spirit out of him. It's coming out of him. So, so is there no evidence that the Holy Spirit is great Gabriel in the Quran? None at all? whatsoever. None. But even then, if you say it's Gabriel, that means Allah blew Gabriel out of himself into Mary. That's gave you nastier. So what is Gabriel doing inside her? And if I go into the commentaries where they think it's Gabriel, because that's later tradition, that's not the Quran. So I said, I'll challenge anyone from the Quran, show me the spirit is Gabriel. They can't. So you're not a Unitarian. Islam does not teach Unitarianism. Islam does not teach there's only one God. Islam teaches there's a multiplicity of gods, even though it says Allah is one. And the spirit is not a creature. The spirit is blown out of Allah, meaning that it comes out of Allah. It came out of Allah. Breathe. That means he's breathing it out of himself. Well, if it's coming out of Allah, then it's not created because nothing in Allah is created. So the spirit is uncreated, but the spirit can appear as a man. The spirit is subject to Allah and creates and gives life. Man, that sure sounds like the Quran has its own form of the Trinity, which is not the true Trinity, let alone all the other things I can show you.